Welcome back, friends. Last Scarf here, and it's time for uh, Professor Layton 3. And this is the place right over. I did that wrong. Did that, did that wrong. The answer is right over here. There we go. There is your answer, and. Ugh. I've got a good feeling about this one. Got it! Well, that's settled. Well, that's settled. Yep, there it is. That's right, it should be easy, but people seem to have a hard time solving this one. You and I can be un surprisingly unreliable. You can go to hell, game. Right, there you go. That's key. There we are. The door is locked, seems to have disengaged. It's time! Oh, they're right there! So this is where you sneaky sneaks have been hiding. There'll be no getting away this time. It was Brian Pasane's right there, and then that little guy's one of them. Oh. Oh. Oh no, we're trapped. Quickly, follow me. Claire. Huh? You're here, everyone. Oi! Yeah, that was close. Oh, my heart's still racing. Who are you? Oh, oh! My eyes must be playing tricks on me. You're Professor Layton, are you not? Her name's Celeste. Oh, it's a pizza. Claire, is it you? No, I'm Celeste, her younger sister. I've been trying to uncover what really happened to Claire. Oh, okay. Well, so Claire's dead. I... I know she was quite fond of you, Professor. Alright, so it wasn't... It wasn't Claire, it was her sister, Celeste. The enigmatic... Yeah, the enigmatic woman is none other than Claire's younger sister, Celeste. She came to the future of London in search of clues as to the circumstances of her sister's death. And is following late P Professor Layton in the belief that he will uncover the truth. He died in an accident. You're Claire's younger sister. You look exactly like her, it's uncanny! We've we've crossed paths several times, haven't we? And yet it's strange, Claire never mentioned having a sister. It is my greatest regret that we spent the last years of her life estranged from each other. Forgive me for not getting in touch with you earlier, Professor. I wanted to, but I was afraid it might attract unwanted attention from the family. For your own safety, I decided it was best to avoid contact with you. I see. You must have cared dearly for your sister to come to a place like this in the search of the truth. Well, if I'm honest, I haven't been running my own investigation so much as tailing yours, Professor. But why? Your reputation. Don't they say the great Professor Layton can solve any puzzle? I thought that if anyone could get to the bottom of what happened that day, it would be you. Celeste. On the day of the explosion, I... Oh no, the family will be here... Any second, we've got to run. Ah, oh, now's my time to shine. No one makes a grand escape like Don Balu. We can't move quickly in a big group like this. We need to split up. I couldn't agree more, my dear Celeste. Please allow me to personally escort you, escort you to safety. Layton, you take the kids. Celeste, wait. There's still so much we need to discuss. Oh, found you. Professor, the city hides a secret so large it defies the imagination. The answer to everything lies in the old father's embrace. It is there we will meet next. It's so random. When the voice is kicking. What? Wow, is that a the tank? Yep, oh, here we go. Oi, stay where you are, intruders. Professor, look out! Luke, Flora, we have to run. Run we will! Alright, this way. We need to leave this facility immediately. 
They kind of have a lot of guns. We're literally outgunned and way outmanned. Yeah, I can't believe the three of us made it out of their own piece. Don't let your guard down, Luke. We're not out of the woods yet. Professor, I just can't stop thinking about the last thing Celeste said to us. The answer to everything lies in the old father's embrace. It is there we will meet next. That was literally three panels ago. Celeste was clearly trying to give us a hint as to our next rendezvous point. Oh, of course. She used a code to hide our meeting place from the family. But what could that code possibly mean? Think of it as a puzzle, Luke. Though I suspect the answer to this puzzle will be much more than our next meeting place. I'd wager that it's also the family's secret headquarters and where Dimitri's been hiding. If that's the case, it's even more important that we find out where this place is. Luke, do you remember seeing a flyer for a restaurant named the Thames Arms on the way here? That's where Celeste will be waiting for us. I did not get that. At the Thames Arms? But how did you work that out? Well, Luke, have you ever heard of Old Father Thames? Nope! Rivers are often personified in folklore and literature, and the River Thames is no exception. When Celeste said that the answer lies in the Old Father's embrace, the father she was talking about was Old Father Thames. That's an angry looking dude. Oh, I get it! And an embrace happens in someone's arms. In this case, the arms of the Thames. Yeah, okay, we'll go with that. Let's just get the hell out. I've been thinking, Professor. What about Luke? About how you, D you, Dimitri, and Don Paolo have a personal tie to poor Claire. Now you seem to question the circumstances surrounding her death, even Celeste does. Why do you get the feeling that many of the mysteries in the city lead back to that explosion? Hmm. The explosion that killed Claire didn't just destroy the lab in which she worked. It killed me! <laughs> By the time I got word of the accident and ran to the site, the whole place was in flames. The block of flats next to the lab had also been destroyed by the blast. The entire area was devastated. Looking upon that scene, I knew that Claire was lost to me forever. And I wasn't the only one who lost something that day. Many others were wounded or lost loved ones. To this day, I still remember an orphan child I met wandering the street, wailing for his parents. For some time after the incident, I was in a state of shock, shocked grief. And when it came back to my senses, I noticed something curious. Despite the scale of the damage, there was no follow-up coverage in the media. Now, one word about the incident was printed or broadcast after the initial reports. I knew the only way I'd get answers about what happened was by running my own investigation. I immediately set to, to work researching Claire's lab and the scientists she had worked with. During my investigation, I learned that powerful pol political forces had suppressed reports of the blast. And I got my ass beat. It was right after this discovery that I was viciously assaulted. My injuries were so severe that I was in hospital for a month. I was lucky to be alive. When I returned to work, my office had been torn apart. The majority of the information I had gathered on the case had been stolen. The explosion was no ordinary accident. Someone with serious political clout was involved. This pu then this person abused his or her power to keep any facts about the event from ever coming to light. I tried to dig back into the case several times, but it was no use. Every time I tried to make progress, I was met with resistance and threats of violence. Claire is lost to me forever, I know that, but I must know the truth of what happened that day. The feeling I'm sure Don Paolo and Celeste share as well. They think Dimitri knows the truth? Dimitri and perhaps one other person. What do you mean, Professor? Everything will become clear at the Thames Arms. Let's go. Bill Hawks! 
Go. Oh my god! I am lost. Eek! La, are you okay? Who's our comrades? It wasn't my intention to scare the young Fraulein. Bravo! What are you doing down here? I was exploring the area and somehow ended up here. Perdido. Doing some of the cavern exploration you were talking about before, I, tr I take it? Duh! Early in my quest to find the great tunnels, I mistakenly wandered into some train tracks. That little via put me in great peril, but danger in part and parcel of exploring El Mundo, none? I suppose you could say that. Natural Amante, most of my travel woes uh, could have been avoided if my compass hadn't been broken. Though I think this map might be able to show me which way to go a bit help, bitter. What? Alright, which direction? We're gonna help this guy during this thing? Alright. This chart has cardinal directions written on each square. However, the top of the chart is not necessarily north. If the point... If you appoint the correct side of the chart as north, starting from a certain square and moving in the direction each square indicates allows you to pass over all the squares on the chart. Notice, uh, you, you can work out which side of the map is A, B, C, or D. Alright, there we go. Let's say A is north. Okay. North, east, east, and then we're gone. Okay, so let's say this is north. Well, if this is north, then we end up going out there. So forget that. Let's say this is north. Let's say this is north. So then, if this is north... If this is north, then that would mean... You know, I should have done two points earlier, but okay. okay. Let's say A is north again really quick. Okay, so let, let's say that's north. Let's say... Starting from here, east, south, and then set east screwed. Okay, forget I came with that. Okay, so here we go. Let's say this is north. So this is north, that would mean that this goes north, this goes east, and this goes west. And that, obviously this would be south. So then knowing that, these are going to go this way. And south is going to go this way, and there's going to go this So, south, west, east, no, um... So west, north, east, east, west. No, that doesn't work out. Doesn't work. But erase all. So let's say this is north. So everything's an opposite. So these are south, these are west, these are north. Okay, so west, west, west. Oh, is that. Uh, Oh, how you're allowed to pass over? No, that can't be right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, I see. Can only pass over it southwise if that's what I understand. So south, south, west, west, but then north, south, south, west, west. North, east, 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 and then this one's stuck. That one's stuck. Okay, if that's the logic. Well, let's do C. Let's do this really quick. Okay, so south. There you go. So north. No, yeah, okay, okay. Now I understand. I'm reading this wrong. So this is how it works. Okay. So north, east, east, south. Okay, well, we never get the center. We never get to the center then. Unless we start here. East, south. But no, uh, my logic's broken. My logic doesn't work. Although I might be understanding this incorrectly. So let's go with hints, because I think I'm understanding it incorrectly. Such a simple chart, but it gets quite complicated when you start to change it into orientation. Try thinking about it from several different directions. No matter which way is north, the relative position of the cardinal points won't change. North is opposite south, east is opposite west. You just need to think there hypothetically and forget the common notion that north is up, south is down, east is right, and west is left. 
There are three east in a row. That means you have to exit the chart through either end of that row. That alone should give you the answer. Pass through every square and you have to go either to the left or right uh, through those three east squares. That means that east corresponds to either left or right, which means that north and south have to be top and bottom. And so then the only answers can be A or C? North, east, and then we're stuck here. Okay, okay, so that has to be the last one. Okay, so east, south, south. East, south, and we're out. So that can't be right. Which means this goes in here. Which means here, here. East, north, west, west, south, south, south. Easy, 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 east. Okay, so there you go. So then it's C. All right. Son of a bitch. C. I've got a good feeling about this one. Uh, all right, all right, there well, you go. Simple. Am I getting dumber? I think I'm getting dumber. I'm pretty sure I'm getting dumber. I think I'm getting dumber. Oh, double goddess is my monsieur. Thanks to you, I can now continue my travels. Do be careful out there, Pavel. This freaking guy is just sitting here. He walking? Beepy. We made it this far, so I think it's finally safe to say we've given the family the slip. Things are rather chaotic back there, Flora. Are you feeling all right? Not too shaken. I'm fine, Professor. I'm just glad you I had you both with me. Professor, the Thames Arms is just up the road from here. Let's go and meet Celeste. Save. There we go. South Bank, North Bank, and South Bank again. The truth revealed. Finally! Alright. Here we go. Here we go. But look who's here. Ah, oh, Layton. Any breakthroughs in your investigation? Possibly, Inspector. In fact, I'm very glad to see you. I need you to accompany me to the Thames Arms. The Thames Arms? My investigation of these premises revealed delicious smells, sir. Be quiet for just a minute, will you, Button? What is there at the Thames Arms that's so amazing that I need to head there this very instant? There we go, found it. I make no promises, but it's likely that what happens there will lead you to the Prime Minister. Really now? Hmm, well, my interest is piqued. But there's the matter of this blasted puzzle. What puzzle? It's in this note I found. I have a feeling it could have some bearing on the case. Would you mind if I had a look at it, Inspector? No. <laughs> Take it later. Hurry, here we go. Receive a letter that says, The room in this photograph hides a secret. Remove one of the floor tiles and reveal the hidden treasure. In the same envelope as the letter is the photograph shown below with the following note on the book. Black. Back! Follow the arrow to where the treasure lies. Which tile do you want to remove in order to find the treasure? Circle with your answer. Find the arrow? I mean, okay. Well, uh, follow the arrow to where the treasure lies. Okay, fine. Restart. Anyway. Arrow lies. What's the arrow? Uh, I don't understand. It. I don't know. Where the arrow lies? No, no, no. Follow the arrow to where the treasure lies. I mean, follow the arrow. What is an arrow here? I don't see anything in this whole thing, so do we hazard a guess? Let's see, it has to be a tile. It has to be a tile, okay. Like that.
So where does the treasure lie? Let's say that's the arrow. Let's see if I've got this right. No. Uh, all right. Well, if at first you don't succeed. Look for the arrow. Yep. Yeah, with the ah oh, no, I canceled out. I hate when I do that. Uh, click on them again. Gotta find the arrow. Hmm. What is the arrow? Is it the bird? Is the bird the arrow? I've got a Probably good feeling not. about this one. What? 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 The bird's the arrow? Ah! Oh! I suspected. What? Oh, the monkey's mouth is the arrow. Son of a bitch! It's not even the bird's the monkey's mouth. That's right. The nose and mouth of the monkey in the picture on the wall combine to form an arrow shape. The treasure can be found under the floor tile directly beneath this arrow. Okay, whatever game. I'm sorry, Inspector, but this letter doesn't appear to have any relevance to your case. Oh, well, isn't that just wonderful? Another pros prospective lead fizzles out. I'm at my wit's end, I tell you. Whatever you've got to show me at the theme's arms, it has to be more useful than that note. Oh, more to the book! Now let's assume the book's complete really quick. Let's do the book. One day I received a request for help from a friend of mine. The head of an old and venerable family. I, I probably headed over to the family mansion. At the entrance I was ushered in by a man dressed in blue from head to toe. Okay. Ushered in by the butler. In blue, dressed in blue from head to toe. According to my friend, a valuable object had recently disappeared from the mantelpiece. As I was inspecting the scene, a boy whispered to me from the doorway, Not many people come and go from the house. Someone who lives here must have hidden it. He asked me to follow him to the study, where he'd, he'd tell me the whole story. This, that's not a boy. That's not a boy. That's not a boy. Oh, we don't have a boy yet. All right. A statue whispered to me? That'd be weird. Uh, okay, we don't have that yet. However, when we got to the study, there was already somebody there. Hey, why are you little rascal? said the man. Where? Oh, I see. We have a guest. We'll talk later then. With that, the man hurried out. What is that? asked the boy. Can't you tell from his hat? He replied, I wonder what he wanted. That's the chef. The cook. Across the room, we heard a small meow. Okay. Oh, excellent. We're not alone. That's right. My cat is the queen of the house, said the boy. Oh, Dread, it's time for me to study with my tutor now. He's the one with the small mustache. Decided to investigate the dining room when, upon entering, I seemed to startle a man, causing, uh, causing the drop the he was carrying. Oh, you must be a guest. Please don't sneak up on me like that. Does the object belong to you, I asked? This is a fork. It's gotta be. Baron. No, no, it belongs to the young master. I found it while working in the garden. I thought I'd return it to him, he said. Why did you come to the dining room? It's gotta be gardener. What? Yeah, they're gardener. Yeah. So why did you come to... Oh, yeah. The young master has a voracious appetite. He's often in, the, in here looking for snacks. Walked back through the hall to the big garden behind the door. I encountered the Baron. Holding an object, he said... Looking to the owner of this, it belongs to the gardener. So, Trowel. Just then, a woman came out into the... Okay, we're not done at all. Alright, we're gonna pull out. Pulling out, pulling out, pulling out. We're far from done with this one. Back to work. Moving on to the Thames Arms. If Mr. Bunnyman has anything. Got a gang you've got there. You starting a parade or something? Now we're just on our way to blow the lid off the biggest mystery London's ever seen. Sounds good. You have fun with it. That's it, really? Alright. There you are, future Luke! You missed so much! I'm so glad we're finally able to meet again. Where'd you run off to? I was doing a little investigating my own, shadowing a suspicious woman I'd seen around town. I saw her tailing you, Professor, and decided someone had to find out who she was. 
Hey, oh, you must be talking about Celeste. The pizza? Why am I making that jump joke? And where did you last see her? I lost her for a while, but I just saw her again walking into this restaurant. Seconds later, I saw a friend of ours go in as well. Oh, let me guess, Don Paolo! I begin to wonder whether I even need to explain. You seem to know it all already. Damn right, Luke! Well, we've been hard at work investigating too. Of course, I never expected you to just wait idly for me to return, so now what? All the players are in our mystery are here. I think it's time to reconvene with Celeste. Players in our mystery? What does that mean? Just waiting for you like, we're not in the future. I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting for that. Oh, that, we do have a parade. Jeez, go. Here we go. It's time for the parlor room scene. There's always a parlor room scene. You certainly took a sweet time getting here, Layton. I thought you'd get lost or something. Come now, Paul. You surely haven't been waiting that long, have you? Hello there. We were in the area and thought we'd drop in by again. Ah, welcome back to the Thames Arms. Did you ever find the gentleman you were looking for? Oh yes, thanks to you, of course. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Here we go! <claps> Professor Layton, it's such a relief to see you made it out all right. Why, I could hardly let myself get caught before hearing about the secret you mentioned, could I? Something tells me you've already worked out most of it by yourself, am I right? Huh? Professor, is that true? If you know something, Layton, spit it out! All concerned parties seem to be in attendance, so I'll try to explain things as best I can. Cutscene? Cutscene, here we go. It's taken time, but I believe I've finally made sense of the bizarre events we've witnessed here. You've worked it all out? For the most part. Eh. Hey. <laughs> okay. Come on in, now, with it! Yes, of course. I have much to say about this city and its secrets. Yay! The London we are presently in, this London of the future, is a fake. There it is! There it is! Yep, there it is! More precisely, it's a set designed to make us believe that we've traveled ten years into the future. I was wondering what was the truth here on that one. Because, you see, there is no time machine. Not here, not anywhere. What? Hmm. Well, right, there we go. We were all led to believe that the clock shop was a portal to the future. But the truth about that shop is in some ways just as bewildering. It's actually a tunnel system? The back room of the clock shop is no time machine. It's a lift leading down into the earth. There it is, yep. That's why they feel queasy. Some of them house ancient ruins. They're in the Truman Show underground. Some experts theorize that these caverns pepper the entire Earth. What I've seen here leads me to conclude that Dimitri used one such cavern to build this false London. It's as if we're standing in the largest film set ever created. What? I don't believe it! So Dimitri is behind all this, then? But why? That question stumped me as well. Why would he go to such pains to make us believe we're in the future? It doesn't make sense, unless convincing people of this is the key to achieving his ultimate goal. What kind of goal requires a setup like that? A scientist, I guess? It's simple. It seems that Dimitri never gave up his original dream of building a time machine. But though he poured all his energy into achieving this feat, the task was too large for one man. 
He needed other scientists to support his project, so he turned to the greatest minds in London. But to keep the scientists working for him, they needed to believe that they were in the future. Why? Think about it, Luke. Dimitri couldn't imprison the scientists, not in the conventional sense. After all, who knows what kind of work they would produce under those circumstances. No, Dimitri needed a different approach to compel the scientists to complete his research. The scientists had to want the time machine to work as much as Dimitri did. So he told them that they had been shot forward ten years in time, stranded a decade from home. Dimitri misled the scientists, telling them that the time machine was an unfinished project. They thought they were stranded, and that the machine was their only hope of returning home. Ah, so that's why they were so willing to follow orders. That's all I've been able to work out. Perhaps our friend here can fill us in on the rest. Future Luke? <laughs> I see you've caught on. Excellent work as always, Herschel. What? The family uses this establishment as a hideout. Therefore, it seemed a bit odd that the bartender didn't so much as raise an eyebrow when we walked in. I have to give credit where it's due. I never imagined you'd work out so much of the plan yourself. I suppose I've no choice but to shut you up for good. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> Three has been double done! <laughs> what? The future London turned out to be a fake city built in an underground cavern beneath the real London. Dimitri led his team of scientists to believe that they were trapped in the future so they would put every effort into completing a functioning time machine. Wait, wait, that was Dimitri? What? That wasn't the same voice? Dimitri Allen, you've been watching us the whole time. I wish... I wish to issue a challenge to the professor. Bumbling laymen have no point in this conversation. A bumbling? I'll give you bumbling. It would be wise for all of you to stay exactly where you are. This restaurant is rigged with enough explosives to level their place. And it, they're ticking. Are you out of your mind? Well, I'll die, even you. Me? Ha! No, I'm going to stroll out of this place. You see, I know exactly how long we've got left, and I know the way out. Oh, and if you're thinking of running away, make sure you don't tread on a bomb. One false step and boom! This place is a minefield! That's right. Now I'm going to watch you squirm a bit more. And then leave you to your fate. Well, then it would seem that you've bested me, Dimitri. There's nothing I can do. Not exactly, Professor. Have a look at this piece of paper. It tells you all you need to know about the bombs in this room. Fair enough. Let's see what we have here. Find all the bombs! Okay. The numbers above and to the left of the map indicate the number of bombs in each column in a row. The red dots indicate people and squares indicate tables. There are no bombs in these squares. Write the location of all bombs using the information provided and mark them on your map. Okay! We're doing P-Cross suddenly? There's only one bomb here. And there's only two spots for the bomb. Here or here. There's only three bombs here. Okay, we're doing a god dang. Okay, all three of these are bombs. All three of these are bombs. So that clears out a spot for these. Erase these for now. There we go. These two are bombs. Alright. These two are bombs. This clears out all bombs here. So, go ahead and go back. These are bombs. So we're done with that. Oh, these are bombs. And these are bombs. Okay, so we can... No, 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 no. We can clear these out as well. So we're done here. And here. There we go. So now, where are the other bombs at? There's two bombs here. Four bombs across. Okay, so four bombs across. Okay. 
And we know these are bombs as well. So that's done. Four bombs across again. So, there we go. So that's done. And this is done as well. Okay. So, two bombs here. That's done. Three bombs. There's one more bomb around here somewhere. And it has to be right here. Because of these, this overlap. So what that means is... It's gotta be right here. This is, lines up with this. There it is. There's the final bomb. And we are... Save... Done! Oh, well done, Professor. I shouldn't have made it so easy for you. You found all the bombs. I suppose you're going to avoid getting blown up after all. I'd say the same, unless, of course, there's something you weren't telling me. What? Luke, this paper isn't just telling us where the bombs are, it's telling us how much time we've got left. Infinity! Hmm? Oh! Is it double out? Zero, Professor! It's all over! The bombs are going to blow! <clears throat> Not so fast, Luke. No! Wait, Luke, listen. This isn't zero, zero. This is the symbol of infinity. The bombs are never going to go off because there are no bombs. What? That's it. Dimitri, isn't it? It's true you've done some evil things, but you're not a killer. You just wanted to keep us busy so you could make your escape. Go! <laughs> Alright. Time for the final confrontation. And that will be next time! Alright, so let's go ahead and save here. So obviously we still got some puzzles to clear. But next time will be the grand finale! But for now, that right there is the game. I had fun with watching, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Having fun, let's come by, and see you next time.